I'm sorry I failed you, master. Hey, this is Amir. This is Diana. And you're watching Vegan Tsum. Welcome back to our channel. If this is your first time here and you're interested in vegan food and all other vegan things, you're in the right place. Sit back, relax, grab yourself some pad thai and enjoy this episode. We have new episodes every Sunday. But the boom! If you're a regular here, you know that we're in Bangkok right now. And if you're new, we're in Bangkok right now. We're doing lots of episodes, eating lots of food, and today is no different. Tell the good folks where we are today. Today we ate at a vegan Thai restaurant called Ying's Garden. And the location is in this mall that's very empty called Marketplace. You really have to look around to find this restaurant because you would think nothing's open really in this mall. But Marketplace is very central. It's close to all the other big malls here like Central Embassy. I couldn't tell if it was a new mall or if it's a failed mall. There is like do not cross ribbons everywhere and it's like quite odd. When we went for lunch on a weekday, there was really no one else in this restaurant during lunchtime except one other person. So the space was completely free for us to sit. There are lots and lots of tables. I'm not sure if there is a busy time for them. But we had our pick up tables. Let's not waste the folks time any more than we have. Let's give them what they want. La food. What do we get? I was super excited to have vegan Thai food because we should be eating Thai food in Thailand. Agreed. <laughs> so we got the fried stuffed bean curd rolls, a tom yum soup, minced pork with basil and chili, and a pad thai. Let's get into it. What should we start with? Let's start with the bean curd rolls. And um, this was an item Amir really wanted to try. I don't even think it's Thai. I think it's more of a Chinese dish. I was gonna say, it seemed like something we get at a dim sum place. But I thought it was really good. Nice and crispy. Tasted really good. I wish it was a bit more stuffed. It had more stuff in it. But overall, pretty decent dish. What do you think? I thought it was really like those stuffed bean curds that are pan fried at dim sum restaurants we go to. And Amir says he wishes it were more stuffed, but I thought it was already super stuffed compared to the ones we usually get because each piece had a really big um, shiitake mushroom in it. And I thought it was really good. But the thing is, I don't think it was a Thai dish. I wish Amir would have ordered a Thai appetizer for it. Well, the photo, it looked like something else completely. The photo looked like almost like a spring roll, but instead of dough on the outside, pinkered. So that's what I was expecting. I thought I thought it was a tidy. One, two, three. Boom, four. Tom, yum, soup. This was really good. I loved it. It came in one of those, you know those devices you get at Indian restaurants sometimes with a flame underneath to keep it warm? But this flame was serious. It wasn't like a tea light candle. It was like full on, Olympic torch tasted really good. I'm assuming this is as authentic as it gets. The only beef I had with it was way too much on edible stuff. So every bite you take, there is like five things you can take out of your mouth. And that was a little bit annoying to me. What do you think? I thought it was delicious. I love Tom Yum soup too. It had lots of mushrooms in it and the portion size was really good. When I was scooping it, I was like, oh, this thing is actually really deep. So there's a lot of soup for us to share. And I know when we were talking about like the lemongrass and the, I think galangal that's in there that you can't eat. And I mean, I guess I could have scooped more carefully so that he wouldn't have to pick things out. Four, mm -hmm. one, one, two, two three. Boom, another five. Next, we got minced pork with basil and chili. This was Diana's choice. I looked at the photo and I was like, 
really? She was like, yeah, it's a Thai food. I'm going to try it. I'm like, oh, that one though? Okay. It is a very famous Thai dish, I will say. And I hadn't had it yet since we've been in Thailand. And I thought it was really good. The pork was omni pork, I think. And they stir fried it with little red chilies. So it was quite spicy. Not uncomfortable spicy, but I really liked it. I really enjoy all the red chilies they put in their dishes. What did you think? I think it tasted really good as well. We ended up being my choice. It wasn't particularly my favorite dish we tried that day, but I'm not disappointed. I will do it again. One, One two, two, three. What did you give it? <gasps> three is good. Dude, it was... Three is good. No. You know? Three is... Mm. Before we talk about Pad Thai, let's talk about subscribe to this channel. If you like what we do, if you like vegan content, don't waste your time, don't waste ours. Press that subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. And ring that bell so you won't miss any episode. Next, we got Pad Thai. Again, I'm gonna assume this was as authentic as it gets. It was a bit different than the Pad Thai I'm used to. Normally when we have it in Vancouver, it's way more saucy. This wasn't very saucy, but it tasted really good. What do you think? I don't think it should be saucy. Well, I don't actually. know. Well, I don't know. It, why would, I don't know what would make it saucy. The sauce? Well, what sauce? I don't know, what kind of pad thai is that? <laughs> I really like this pad thai. It had bean sprouts and some cashews and we squeezed a little bit of lime that was excellent on it. The portion was a little bit small for this pad thai. I feel like we could have eaten more pad thai, but I thought it was really good. One, One two, two, three. Oh, give it a four as well. Hey Dana, would you go back to the Yin Garden? What was that? No, never promised you a rose garden. Okay. Mm -hmm. I thought the food was really good and it's super close to where we are. The price was reasonable. We ordered those four dishes and it came out to be about $30 Canadian, just a little bit over. And the food came quickly. It was good quality. And like I said, I really want to have Thai food here. So it's a great option for us. So I would go back. What do you think? Would you go back? Yes, I absolutely would. I thought the food was great. The experience was great. The mall was interesting. And yeah, I mean, I want to go try other places before I go back there for sure. But it's a place I would recommend 100%. Take a look at this episode on Amir's face. It's beautiful. It's maybe more tanned and not sweaty yet, but it will be later today because it's hot here. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching.